Travelling lady back again, back again in London for another away vlog down in the capital today. United take on Chelsea at Stamford Bridge. Chelsea having a, a bad season, I'd argue, a relative, in relative terms, a worse season than us, given the money they spent. Currently 12th, coming off the back of a 2 0 loss away at Everton. United actually coming off the back of a win, believe it or not. Um, we have, however, got Jack Robinson out there, which is a big shame. McBurney's back in. Max Lowe's starting as well, see how he gets on. Wilder's first away game and his second since at United. So let's see how we get on. I think hopefully we're a bit more buoyant. Chelsea fans are a bit more pissed off. So let's hope we can frustrate them and uh, stoke the atmosphere a bit and uh, get the uh, Chelsea fans on their players back and uh, see if we can nick something. I'd be over the moon uh, with a point. Let's see if we can recreate those uh, incredible limbs that we had here back in 2019. Come on now. Time nil nil at Stamford Bridge. Um, so far, so good to be fair from United. We've managed to keep Chelsea at bay. Bogle managed to keep Mudrick at bay. Predictably, obviously, Chelsea dominating possession, but we have managed to have a few for race forward. Unfortunately, we've not had that many shots on target, I don't believe. Um, I think Cameron Archer had a, a shot from range that um, must have taken a deflection and he went out for a corner, but I thought he was going to nestle into the top corner, I was hoping, and just missed. And, um, We've had a few balls whizzing across the box to forward. Unfortunately, there's no one on the end of it. Incredible, incredible block by Max Lowe to deny Chelsea a certain goal. So um, he's doing all right, to be fair. He started a bit shaky, but he's come into it and played pretty well so far, Max Lowe. So fair play to him. Keeping him at bay, sort of as I wanted it to go, sort of I was hoping and expected to go. Sort of just frustrating Chelsea, keeping him at bay. But unfortunately, when we get the ball, we've had a few slight passes as well. That's not even just been self-inflicted, just giving the ball away under no pressure. Um, but we, we're struggling to find an outlet because we're just camped in our half most of the time. So we'll get the ball to McBurney and Archer, but they're on the halfway line. So let's so in the second half. Uh, we can keep them at bay and maybe we'll mix something. This referee is fucking useless, so we had a corner and he blew for half time. Absolute corrupt bastard. Like Your 
Chelsea goal scorer, number 20, Cole Palmer. 1-0 Chelsea, first day in. Check for offside. We know which way it's going to go, though. The show's night follows the VAR check goes against us. Imagine the show. So full time Chelsea 2, United 0. Uh, very frustrating, very disappointing to be fair. I thought the first half went about as well as it could have done, about as well as I realistically had hoped. Uh, we were frustrating, Chelsea were just about keeping them at bay. Um, we were staying regimented and solid, some good tackles at time, some brilliant last minute blocks on the light of Max Lowe, uh, who started a bit shaky with ballooning the ball up into the air a couple of times. Obviously, you know, put in a fantastic block as well. But Bogle sometimes was getting beaten by, by Mudrick, but also at times was keeping him at bay and putting in some good tackles. We were just camped in our half and we had no outlet. We'd get the ball and you'd get it to uh, Archer and McBurney and they're on the halfway line, if not further back. And we'd had no one to pass to. Um, I know it was throughout the entire game, we were so much slower than Chelsea. Chelsea was on us in an instant. And we are just like slugging along like a flipping canal barge. So slow. We didn't win any second balls. And I also noticed as well, we were so wasteful in possession that the few times we actually had the ball, often not even under pressure, we just throw it away and just literally pass it back to Chelsea. It's like misplaced passes all the time. Like, what are you doing? Hamer didn't have a great game. Suza was all right, but it's just, it's just not enough. It's not enough. A few tackles and blocks and interceptions. We're not going to win us a game at this level. We, we need so much more from, from everybody. It's just, we're just so far short in terms of quality. We offer absolutely nothing up top. Absolutely nothing up top. I saw a Chelsea fan and said, we're about as blunt as a rubber cabbage. That's, so that sums it up. Absolutely nothing. Wes, I don't know what's going on with that second goal, but they had some good moments as well. I think he's doing it the best he can. He's just not a Premier League quality goalkeeper. You're not enough at this level. Um, and the second, like I said, the first half I was quite proud. I was like, oh, Let's keep this going. We might even nick a point, maybe even nick, nick a goal and get from somewhere and get a bit more. And then the second half, we just switched off, switched off twice and we paid the price. And you just know we ain't going to get a goal. Archer at the end, he's so naive at times. There was the one the other week where he got played through and he cut back. He goes, what are you doing? Take it on. And then this time he ran forward and just blazed a shot wide and the Sula's in the middle. And he probably, if he squirt to a Sula, we'd probably get a goal. Um, which I'd have liked because I predicted 2-1 on Super 6, so I'd have got 5 points. So it's just, it's just the few chances we do get, we just waste, we struggle to create them. Then the ones we do create, we just fucking waste. Um, we had, Karch had that great shot, I think it was, it must have been deflected because it was given for a corner. And I was hoping and praying we were going to mess into the top corner, but went wide. Um, and Chelsea, it was like a proper training session for them, it was, Really easy. I think the fact it was quite a boring game, um, apart from that bit where they got like two goals in a matter of minutes. But it was just sort of routine, passing it around for them, waiting for their moment, and their moment came, and they had very, very little to defend. So yeah, not even McAtee could bring the spark or anything. Slamani had a bit of a run when he came on. That was about it. But yeah, 
very predictable routine 2 0 loss. So now we go on to Villa away. Jesus Christ, God help us. Anyway, guys, I'm in the Travelling Blade. I'll see you for Villa away.